Hello my Luminites, it is Ivy and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here, hello! My name is Ivy, also known as Intuitive Ivy M, here on this channel as well as on my Instagram and also on my witchy TikTok. <laughs> I also am the co-owner for an amazing spiritual company called Unearthly Treasures, where you can reach us at unearthlytreasures.com. And also, I started my podcast back up again. It's It had been a, like maybe like a month or two since I posted anything, but I'm getting back on it. I have two episodes that I've already recorded and ready to go. So check out my podcast. I'll put the link below. It is called the Vulu Podcast. Anyways, hi! If you're new here, my name is Ivy. This channel is all about the magical, the mystical, and the supernatural. So if you are into one or all three of those things, please consider hitting that subscribe button and becoming another member of our growing Illuminate family. And also make sure to turn on that notification bell to be notified when I post. I post twice a week now. So, yes! So I'm so excited because today we are going to be unboxing my favorite, I have already deemed this my favorite box so far for 2022, and that is the Witch's Book Coven, also known as the Witch's Book Box. So we have our April box here that we're going to unbox. Also, stay tuned for the end of the video for the giveaway winners. So if you guys don't know, the Witches Book Box or the Witches Book Coven, this is a monthly subscription box that you can get every single month and it comes with two different witchy witchcraft books plus an invitation to the live monthly book gathering and all for $30 a month and I believe that includes shipping which is really really awesome because these monthly gatherings they talk about the book and a lot of times they actually have the author come on and talk about the book as well so i'm so excited um we've gotten some pretty good books uh so far i haven't five starred any of them um but if you guys do like reading if you guys like my books if you like me talking about books then you can also check out my book talk and i actually do have a book podcast too so i'll link that below and you can also follow me on goodreads just, just a little plug in there <laughs> so anyways let's go ahead and open up the april witches book box so opening it up ah, we always have this that we can open and then we always get a bookmark every single month this one this time we got the phases of the moon i've gotten this one before and then we get two stickers, like always as well, and it says the witch's book belongs to, and it gives you space for you to put your name. And then we get, we have the uh, letter here, which I will read at the end because it tells you the books. Ooh, okay, so first we got the way to the water priestess entering the water the world of water magic and you know what's so funny is that i recently went to a uh witch store or witchcraft metaphysical store whatever you want to call it and i actually got two different books that are about water magic i don't know why it was calling to me at the time but i don't know so it's so funny that we got this because i was literally just thinking about it the other day i think it was like a day or two that i was like oh I remember I was like really trying to get into like water magic and then it's like we haven't given up on you yet so this is really cool um so what it says in the back so I'm going to read to you the little blurb in the back so in the back it says since antiquity women have tended sacred waters here is a hands-on guide to reviving the ways of the water priestess and developing a sacred relationship with water of all kinds. Written by a water priestess, the book offers a practical guide to the magical power of water and its resident spirits and how to use that magic for self-empowerment and in the service of water in, in all of its forms. Readers will learn the aspects of water magic, historical and archaeological information about rites and rituals and women's role in relationship to water, the lore of water goddesses from various cultures around the world, how to form an intimate connection with water in all its forms, moon rituals, sacred bathing, and oracular and ritual arts, 
and how to become a sacred vessel of water. Very interesting, interesting, interesting book. So here we got this one. Not in a rush to read that one, to be honest. And then the next one, ooh, another one. That is so funny. And then the next one that we got is called Water Witchcraft, Magic and Lore from the Celtic Tradition. And I think this is, oh, they're both from, from the same author. Okay, cool. So they're both written by Anne Wynne Avalon. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure she's going to be the feature for this month's book, um, book club meeting. So it says, Water Witch Anne Wynne Avalon presents a comprehensive guide to Celtic water lore, including spells, rituals, water spirits, and merfolk. She explores the magic of the sea, but also features the lakes, rivers, canals, swamps, and other watery locations, as well as the craft and magic that have been and continue to be practiced at these places. Within these pages, you will learn how to set up your own personal water altars and shrines, gather or craft the magical tools of water witchery, and access the power of rain and ice and ice i'm sorry most crucially you will learn how to connect and communicate with water spirits themselves and then we have a few blurbs from uh sea magic from sandra kynes author of sea magic Gemma gary author of wished waters so anwin avalon is a witch and priestess and the founder of treskelly i could be pronouncing that wrong rose in avalonian witchcraft tradition and when writes the water witch blog and is an award-winning internationally known dancer and repertoire of water and mermaid themed belly dance performances Ooh. so we got those two books and now it's time for the letter so it says dearest magical souls our reading this month was inspired by the new moon in Pisces. That makes sense. We had, we had last month. Water is an element of such depth and mysticism that it can draw us into a powerful journey. The new moon cycle we had really reminded me of how blessed we are by this element and how much there is here for, how much there is to learn here for us. A year and a half ago. For the witch's box, we did a box focused on the element of water, that we provided a really solid foundation for understanding how water affects us, but also what it has been historically throughout time for us on this planet. The two books we are focusing on this month take us even further. I am so thrilled to finally have these books be part of our reading. Anne Wynne Avalon, the author, has done a gorgeous job of telling the story of water, providing us with a treasure trove of magic to be done with water and then finally. In the second book, How to Be of Service in All Ways with the Power of Water. I can't wait to hear what you think of the reading, and I recommend you read them in this order. So, Water Witchcraft first, and then afterwards, reading The Way of the Water Priestess. As always, I'll, be in, I'll see you in the forum and at the end of the month when we have our live Witches Book Coven Gathering. Deep blessings, Elena. Yay! so excited um like i said this one i'm super excited because for some reason recently i've been watching a lot of like mermaid stuff i don't know why i haven't been into like mermaids since i was a kid so it's 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 interesting that all of a sudden i'm finding it fascinating again so i i, I really am interested in reading this one this one this month and hopefully maybe getting to this one but how like i said this one doesn't call out to me too much it kind of like reminds me of that which is in heretics one that we got a few months ago which wasn't my cup of tea so we'll see i had a giveaway going on last month where i was giving away all of the decks that i'm decluttering keep in mind that all of these decks are decks that i have already been using obviously i'm decluttering them so most of them are not going to be in its its original packaging they're going to be sent in I don't know whatever baggie <laughs> I can possibly find to ship them out so um, the winners we got some winners here and then head over to my Instagram for the rest of the winners 
Um, but, so the winner of the Kipper deck is going to Sandy SP. The winner of the Literary Witches deck goes to Rain's Shenanigans. And the winner of the Shaman Oracle goes to Lisa. The winner of the Movie Tarot deck goes to Luca Red Tarot. The winner of the Universal Weight deck goes to Ashley Waiki. And the winner of the Gemstone or Precious Gems Oracle goes to Gary or Jerry uh, Bowers. So you guys have two weeks to claim your winning, your winning decks. If not, I'll have to move on to the next person or if there isn't a next person, I'll just have to redo, <laughs> probably do another giveaway for it. So head on over to my Instagram if you if you haven't yet because I did have more winners posted there to see if you won on my Instagram. So anyways you guys, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!